It's about 10.30 in the uh, morning on uh, Wednesday, September 17th, 2014. I'm uh, taking a, a tour of Kiev for practically the whole day. We're going to hit uh, St. Michael's uh, Monastery, which we're at right now, and then we're going to be going on the uh, funicular, which uh, connects Upper Town here in, uh, in uh, Kiev to the Lower Town. I'll do a round trip on that, and then we're going to hit St. Sophia's Cathedral and the Golden Gates of Kiev, and the final, uh, of course, I'm going to take my standard subway ride here um, in Kiev, and Kiev happens to have the world's deepest subway stations. So we're going to start right now with our exploration of this beautiful monastery, St. Michael's. St. Michael's was originally built on around about 1713. And then it was destroyed by the Soviet authorities in the 1930s, only to be rebuilt in the early uh, 1990s and reopened in 1999. Uh, it's located in Kiev's Upper Town neighborhood, high in a bluff, sloping down to the Dnieper River, and overlooking Kiev's historic uh, commercial Podoly neighborhood. Um, during the February 18th to the 22nd, uh, 2014 revolution, the monastery bells here rang practically forever, and it was to notify Ukrainians and Kiev people to join the struggle for independence from the Russian-controlled Ukrainian government. Uh, in addition, uh, during the revolution, this monastery was used as a hospital for the injured and as a sanctuary for freedom fighters. So I've included some uh, news shots to uh, give you an idea of what was going on here during the revolution. The monastery's bells are playing the Ukraine national anthem. Time of this big bell tower, there is the national anthem of Ukraine. They're playing the national anthem. National, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They play it, and that is uh, they reproduce the national anthem of Ukraine. Well, we're going to head, try to head into the church. Uh, little did I know, uh, when we got in there, uh, I was told uh, flat out that you can't uh, take photo, uh, videos or photographs for that matter. So uh, that pretty much ended that idea. We're going to look around the uh, ground floor of the church here. We can't take any photographs inside the monastery, uh, but we can take them here, and we also can take them up in the bell tower. We're going to climb up to the bell tower and get some great shots. This is a chapel which is separate from the uh, main church area. Here's the bell tower we're going to be climbing. Oh, it's very interesting. The chime of this big... This is beautiful, the staircase. 
Here we are in the church's bell tower. It's look at these bells, they're just gargantuan. Here's a great shot of uh, St. Sophia Cathedral's bell tower. Uh, the, uh, we're going to be going there after we go to the funicular. If you look right through there, you can see the Dnieper River. Here's a great shot of the church. Was transferred, was converted into a kind of hospital. So many people wounded. Um, they were. I'm going to give you some more shots of the bells in the background. You'll hear my interpreter guy talking about uh, what we're looking at. We have two uh, big churches uh, renovated from scratch. Here, here. This one, Mikhailovsky Monastery, and then another <laughs> very old uh, church called. Um, Holy Dormition, or just uh, Holy Assumption uh, Church on the territory of the Kiev Monastery, Lavra. But uh, as for the Holy Dormition Church, it was uh, destroyed back in 1941 uh, during the first year of Nazi occupation of the city. Well, we're heading uh, out now. We're going to be taking the funicular from up here on the bluff down to the lower part of town and then back. 